Norfolk Police Constable Daniel Comfort. We spoke about him on the 15th of November and the 13th of December last year as being part of a WhatsApp group which was found to have shared grossly offensive messages between police and was found guilty of gross misconduct, has finally learned his fate. Although I think we already know what his fate is considering five others in the same group had already been uh, or who had already lost their jobs for the same thing. Comfort only joined Norfolk Police in March last year, but was allegedly the most prolific user in the group, sending some 1,184 messages, with 54 of those messages being deemed to be inappropriate. Messages sent by Comfort and the others were said to have been homophobic, racist, sexist, sexist, discriminatory, and Comfort was significantly involved in the deeply offensive messages about people queuing up for dodgy showers at Auschwitz, according to the misconduct panel. Not only that, he was found to have failed to report more than 400 other messages posted by members of the group, although it said he did challenge one comment, but failed also to report that one. Daniel Comfort had resigned from the force in November 2022, but the misconduct panel still went ahead. The group he was a part of was in fact the same group as Wayne Cousins, called Bottles and Stoppers, rhyming slang for coppers, although I think we all know them by the better and more common name, C to prove that point, the group had previously been called Boris's Benders, Atkins Puppets and Something Hate Group, with the something being the name of a fellow mixed race officer. Now, to be fair, some of the comments I don't think were an issue, such as referring to Th Feltham as filthy, allegedly referencing the area's diversity, although I see no evidence uh, that's been released that backs that up. I mean, I refer to Liverpool as a shithole full of scallies and chavs, but that's an opinion and we should be allowed to have an opinion, and it should be taken in context. Comfort did apparently attend his hearing where he confirmed that the initial rationale behind the group was to share information about their experiences, how to progress their careers, and social matters. The panel's report stated that he agreed that a number of messages fell below the standard of professional behaviour. He pointed out he had challenged the behaviour on one occasion. He accepted that some of the comments should have been reported. He was embarrassed that he failed to do so and apologised. Norfolk Police Chief Constable Paul Sanford said the language and opinions demonstrated as part of the evidence of this, at this joint misconduct hearing fell well below what anyone, let alone a police force, would find acceptable. While former PC Comfort may have admitted that his behaviour was wrong, it should never have happened in the first place and any of the officers involved should have called a stop to it. He added, it's important, however, that we put this into context. We are aware that we are speaking about the minority of officers and staff. Now the thing is, they talk about context when it suits them, as in this is only a minority of staff, but they fail to see the context of other things, such as filthy Thelton. It doesn't on the face of it appear to be indicating anything about the area's diversity. That's like saying Wales is a clean place and people assuming you say that because it's the country's least diverse area when there's nothing on the face of it to even suggest that's what meant. I'm not taking away the fact that some of the messages we're talking about struggle cuddles with teenagers who they've had contact with and other pretty messed up things. Even if some were jokes, no one should be joking about vulnerable people and with Wayne Cousins still fresh in the minds of the public, the police do have to take action to protect the public from potential future threats. Now, even though Comfort had resigned in November last year, the panel deemed his actions amounted to gross misconduct and concluded that had he not resigned, he would have also been dismissed.